The following applications video is proudly brought to you by Touchstone Semiconductor Incorporated, the 21st century high performance analog company. Please visit us on the web at touchstonesemi.com, call or email our application support line at 1-408-383-9363 or at applications at touchstonesemi.com, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Hi, my name is Javier Solorzano and I am a Senior Applications Engineer here at Touchstone Semiconductor. In this video, I will present a simple and useful application circuit that utilizes our revolutionary TS-1001 operational amplifier, which is the world's first and only operational amplifier that can operate down to 0.8 volts and consumes only 600 nanoamps of current. I will present a single supply 1.5 volt power oxygen sensor signal conditioning circuit for which an application node is available online. Although this video covers an application that involves an oxygen sensor, the discussion also applies to other types of applications that use other types of sensors, such as temperature, pressure, and motion sensors. Oxygen sensors are commonly found in life safety and industrial applications. In life safety applications, they are used to ensure that adequate levels of oxygen are available in a confined space such as inside an aircraft or inside a room such as this one. In industrial applications, they're used to measure the absence of oxygen in vacuum packaging of food products. In all cases, they can be found inside small portable devices where low power is essential or as a part of a large system. These sensors provide tens of micrograms of current that are then converted to tens of millivolts voltage depending on the load. The sensor may need to drive a downstream analog to digital converter, which may be a part of a microcontroller, but may not be able to provide enough voltage to do so. However, we can address this by utilizing a single TS-1001 operational amplifier to create a 1.5 volt powered oxygen sensor signal conditioning circuit that can predict with precision ambient oxygen levels. Now let's take a look at the circuit. As you can see, we're using CDA Technologies 40X2 oxygen sensor. The sensor provides an output current for a given oxygen level across a manufacturer recommended 100 ohm load. It provides a linear output response with a maximum output current of 100 microamps, which corresponds to a 21% oxygen level, which is typical in air. Let's take a look at the transfer curve of the sensor. As you can see, as the oxygen level rises, the output current rises in a linear manner. At a 21% oxygen level, the output current is at approximately 100 microamps. At, 18, at a dangerous oxygen level of 18%, it's at approximately 85 microamps. Oxygen levels below 18% are considered unsafe, and those above 18% are considered to be safe. The sensor itself has a lifetime of two years and a maximum response time of 15 seconds. It is recommended to use the manufacturer recommended load in order to maintain accurate output current values. The, the input is applied to the non-inverting input of the TS-1001. Because the input is in a millivolts range, the circuit is set up in a non-inverting scheme with a gain of 101 in order to ensure that we can acquire a measurable voltage on the output that may need to drive in a downstream analog to digital converter that may be inside a microcontroller as shown here. The gain of 101 was chosen for convenience. For instance, with a maximum output current of 100 microamps out of the sensor, the output voltage will simply be 1 volt. The transfer curve for the TS-1001 is as shown here. And as you can see, the open loop gain curve shows that the gain bandwidth product of the TS-1001 is 4 kilohertz. The bandwidth of the circuit is at 40 hertz, and that is shown here by the circuit closed loop gain curve. As you can see, the complete circuit is powered with a single 1.5 volt AA battery. The oxygen sensor is shown here, and it is currently unconnected. The current consumption of the circuit is approximately 0.7 microamps as shown here by the current meter. However, if I connect the sensor, you will see a 200 nanoamp rise as shown by the current meter and a 1 volt voltage is produced at the output of the TS-1001 as shown by the voltmeter. A 1 volt output voltage is due to a 100 microamp current that is produced by the sensor for an oxygen level of 21%, which is typical in air. The rise in current occurs as the 1 volt output voltage is applied across an effective 5 mega ohm resistance, which is a parallel combination of the feedback resistance of the circuit and the resistance of the voltmeter. If I light a match next to the oxygen sensor,
the oxygen concentration reduces. As you can see, the output voltage reduces as the sensor responds to the drop in oxygen. If I remove the match, the sensor responds and returns back to its original state at approximately 1 volt. The current consumption of the circuit is less than 1 microamp. A 1.5 volt AA battery is rated at 1500 milliamp hours, which means that it would take over 285 years before the battery needs to be replaced. In addition, the oxygen sensor will need to be replaced over 142 times before the battery needs replacement. The precision of the circuit depends highly on the TS1001 low input offset voltage of only 0.5 millivolts and on the low input bias current of only 0.025 nanoamps, which results in less than a 3% output error when, detecti when detecting down to a dangerous oxygen level of 18%. Also notice in the circuit that 100 kilo ohm resistors were added in order to minimize input bias current effects. In addition, it is recommended to use 1% tolerance resistor values in, in order to minimize gain errors. If a reduction in bandwidth is desired below 40 Hz, you can do so by simply adding a feedback capacitor in parallel with a 10 mega ohm resistor as shown here. If I wish to design my circuit with a 25 Hz bandwidth, I can select a 600 picofarad capacitor. However, the closest standard capacitor value to a 600 picofarad capacitor is a 620 picofarad capacitor. That results in a 25.6 Hz bandwidth. The resulting closed loop gain curve will look like this. In essence, accurate ambient oxygen level readings are essential in life safety and industrial applications. Touchstone Semiconductor's TS1001 operational amplifier provides an ultra low power solution. The low input offset voltage, low input bias current, high open loop gain contribute to a low output error that makes the TS1001 operational amplifier great for this application as well as other applications that utilize other types of sensors. This is Javier Solorzano, Senior Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. Thank you for watching. The preceding applications video was brought to you by Touchstone Semiconductor Incorporated, the 21st century high performance analog company. Please visit us on the web at touchstonesemi.com, call or email our application support line at 1-408-383 9363 or at applications at touchstonesemi.com, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter.